Hello and welcome to Maker Ed at Home. My name is Luke. I love taking ordinary objects and making them extraordinary. If you've seen a construction site, then you know it only takes simple, ordinary objects to make a magnificent building. Do you have any cardboard at home? I know you've received something from Amazon recently. If you have, then get out that crafty, corrugated cardboard, because today our challenge is to build cardboard constructors. A cardboard constructor is two inches by four inches with a half inch groove on each side. When we connect them together using their grooves, we can build amazing structures. The constructors are basically joist and beams. Joists align parallel to one another, side by side, and their weight is supported by a perpendicular beam. Beams are load-bearing, meaning they are important in holding up the structure. Joists and beams work together to provide a structure with support and strength. Supplies. You're going to need some cardboard, a ruler or some type of measuring device, something to write with, a pair of scissors, some paint or some crayons or color pencils, and a paintbrush if you've got some paint. Step one. The first thing we need to do is to measure the length of our constructors. They will be four inches long. Remember that they will be two by four inches, and so we need to get as many as we can out of our cardboard. Your piece of cardboard may be bigger or smaller than mine, and that's okay. Just make sure that you use as much as you can. For example, this section is not four inches long. So I'm going to measure two inches. That way I can get an extra constructor out of this section. Now I'm going to measure the width of my constructor. That's going to be two inches. And so I'm going to keep my ruler in place and measure every two inch mark. Two, four, six, and so on. Move the ruler down to the next four inch mark and repeat until you run out of cardboard. Remember, you want to make as many as you possibly can. Now we're going to connect all of our four inch marks using our ruler or straight edge. Now connect the two inch marks. Make sure your ruler is nice and straight so these lines are very clean and neat. Now it's time to measure every one inch for the grooves. Keep your ruler in place and measure at one, three, and five, skipping over your two inch marks. Slide your ruler down and repeat. Now it's time to measure our two inch grooves on the four inch side of our constructor. Each groove needs to be a half inch long. Keep your ruler in place and measure a half inch at each spot.
fantastic. Now we have our two inch by four inch constructors with a half inch groove marks. Now it's time to cut. Step two. First cut the four inch marks all the way across. Now it's time to cut the two inch marks. Be careful cutting the grooves. You do not want to cut past your half inch mark. Step three, I chose to paint my constructors. If you do not have access to paint, that's okay. You can use colored pencils, crayons, or any other kind of decorative materials. Step four, now it's time to build. Cardboard constructors are way more fun when you have a lot of them. Build towers or interesting structures by connecting them together using their grooves. See how high or how wide you can build your structure or try building a structure that can support weight, like a book. You are truly only limited by your imagination. Have fun building makers. Now let's talk about some variations. This is a constructor I made that is two inches by four inches with grooves one inch from each corner. This is a circle constructor I made using a mason jar. It has four half inch grooves. Lastly, this is a square constructor I made that is two inches by two inches, and it has four half inch grooves, one inch from the corners. Using our different sizes and variations, we can combine them together to create unique and interesting structures. Thank you for watching this video. Maker Ed at Home is brought to you by the KSU I Teach Maker Bus team. Share your creation online using the hashtag I Teach Maker. See you, makers.